What was it about Brian Flores and the Dolphins that caused you to want to come here for free agency? That's an easy that's an easy question to answer. Just I respect him as a coach, what he brings to the table, what he's all about um, on the field and off. I, as you guys have grown to know him a little bit better, I feel like you guys are getting a sense of how he is as a person and as a coach. And you you probably kind of wish you could play for him if you played football. Just the type of attitude he has, uh, the grit he has the competitiveness he has. I mean, who doesn't want to play for a coach like that? He's ready to go all the time, and he brings that same energy each and every day, and that's what you, what you want as, as a coach. And as a player, that's who I want to play for. Adam? You, uh, you won a division title every year. You're with the Patriots. So the Dolphins haven't won the division in 2008. Why do you think that's going to change? Well, I mean, I, I don't – I'm not really focused on the past or thinking about the Patriots. I'm really just thinking about the Dolphins. And, you know, our goals are how they are each year. First, we, we want to uh, just play the best team football uh, as possible. And that, that starts with showing up on time, doing the little things over and over, and focusing on the first opponent. We can't worry about – championships can't worry about who's doing what what we can worry about is what the Dolphins are doing and um, what we're worried about as a team is getting everybody on the same page inside and out top to top down and that starts with the owner and the owner is doing a great job of that Flo's doing a great job of that uh, Greer is doing a great job of that and the players are all following suit so we're excited for uh, everyone being on the same page uh, tackling that one task at a time, and that's going to be our first game. And hopefully, if that's the Patriots, it's the Patriots. If the Bills, it's the Bills. Or if it's a different opponent, we're going to be ready for them. Steve, one. Uh, Kyle, a related question. Uh, how much does uh, Tom Brady's relocation change the balance of power in the, in the division? Uh, to what extent do you think the Patriots will still be the Patriots? I think they'll always be the uh, the Patriots with the kind of players they have up there. Obviously, uh, losing a quarterback is tough, but they still have a really they still have a really a really good set of football players up there that love football, that are going to be hungry to prove to a lot of people that they're they're still in it, and you know that's what they do up there. Safed. Kyle, with your relationship with Flo and your intimate knowledge of the defense, um, what role do you see yourself playing on defense? Are you going to kind of be uh, like a coach on the field per se? And I wanted to ask you, how far do you think this defense is away from stopping the likes of, you know, Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes, some of the high scoring quarterbacks in this league um, who have gone on to, you know, play deep in the AFC playoffs? Uh, good question. Um... I think really what we're focused on right now is, you know, just getting everybody together. And, you know, I'm excited to meet everybody, get into, you know, o OTAs if those happen. But if not, then I'm excited to jump into training camp and get to work. For me personally, I hope, you know, I'm going to go off what the plan is for me. Uh, I feel envisioned that I'll be playing everywhere like I have been. Um, I, I've said it before. I don't really consider myself having a position. I don't really like that. Don't I don't like being called a DN or a linebacker or anything. I'm just a football player. You roll the ball out onto the field. I'm there. I'm showing up. Uh, that's my job, and I'm I'm gonna be about it all the time. Ruthie. Hey Kyle. Good to see you. Ruthie, how you doing? Good to Good. see you again too. Good. I'm here now too. I know it's funny. Um, I just am curious because I know you and Flores were so close and you kind of stayed in touch. What was his reaction to you deciding, you know, on coming to Miami? And, um, you know, what has he told you about what he's trying to do here and how you can contribute to that? Yeah, I think what he told me is obviously I'm going to keep that in confi confidential. <laughs> I can't give you the secrets. 
but, you know, I, I think he's pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. And we're going to do everything for the team. I'm definitely going to do that. I've done that since I've been in the NFL. That's not going to change who I am. Uh, I'm just going to try to hopefully – take a more leadership role because I'm going to be one of the more older players on this team. And I just hope I can help out the young guys, not just as football players, but as um, people too. I just want them to, I just want to, ho I hope I can show them the right way to how to be a professional because that's what it's all about. Adam. How has the uh, coronavirus uh, affected you? Do you have any friends, family that have that have been affected by it? And uh, <clears throat> how are you going to be able to keep yourself football ready uh, for what seems to be a long slog here? That's not to the to, to my knowledge. No one in my family or anybody I'm close with uh, I know of has gotten it. Um, I, I've heard potential people have been around people that have gotten it but nobody's had symptoms of it but I I still I say my prayers to all those that are that have been affected I mean I've seen all sorts of crazy things and I feel bad for those that are being affected I hope you know we're working my wife and I are working on as fast as possible to get in contact with people down in Miami to hopefully our foundation, the Van Oy Valor Foundation, to go down and help as much as we can because um, it's it's a sad thing that we're dealing with. And I know we'll push through. We're going to come together. Um, staying in shape wise, I actually still can get a workout in. Um, there's a ranch about 45 minutes away from me. Uh, no one's there. Just I have access to it. And it's pretty cool. So it's just me and myself getting after it. There's a hill I can run and there's some weights I can lift. So there's no one else around. It's just me, myself, and I. <laughs> uh, so, but it's good. It, I'm staying in shape. So I'm really happy about that. I, I've, I've had off seasons where I've gotten too heavy and for my own, and it's not fun to lose a bunch of weight. So I'm definitely staying in shape. How? Hi, Kyle. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Oh, you're um, going to? Hey, Hal, why you put me on the spot day one, man? <laughs> Sorry. Um, your best Brian Flores story that comes to mind. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. Um, I, I'll share a good one. Um, it was – it was in New England. It was during practice and he was a D coordinator at the time. So it was in 18 and it was one of those days where it was just a grind. Everyone was cranky. It was probably in December. So in December, everyone starts to get cranky in New England because it gets cold. <laughs> Something you guys don't know about. Um, but it, things weren't happening at practice and he, he brought me and high over and kind of just said, look, like, we're just, we're not just trying to be out here. We, we got things to do. And I know it's simple and that, that's something simple to say, but it didn't hit us till we got into the meeting. And because when we were watching the place, he was like, look it right here. We're just not out here. We're trying to get things done. And then in that game that week, we fast forward it. It came to a, like a, a time and a place where the play that he wasn't happy about in that practice popped up in the game. And we started, me and Hyde started laughing at each other because me and him both made a play on it. And we can't go to the sideline and we started laughing at him like, look, we're not out here. You know, we kind of did his little comment back to him and he started laughing. So that's a, that's just a small story, but it's a big story because, you know, he takes something that's so small and is able to put it into football and relate it. And, you know, he's really good with his players. Steve. Kyle, I don't think I've ever uh, interviewed wearing headphones before. 
<laughs> yeah. How you doing, Steve? Some people have wanted to when we're doing interviews. What, what do you think of this technology and this way of uh, doing this part of the job? I think it's the way of the future, to be honest. Um, I have my headphones on because I actually play video games. I'm on my desktop. So uh, this is this is my gaming station. So I, I didn't want to switch up my take my headsets out. Then I would have to reconfigure all my stuff. I took hours to do. So they're staying on. So you got to just you just got to enjoy my headphones. They're pretty sweet. Shout out to Razor. They hooked it up. Cam. Hey, Kyle, uh, were you surprised that Brady ultimately left New England? No. I mean, given the fact of 20 years, given the fact that he didn't get a contract done beforehand, I just felt like there was too many other teams it would be hard to pass up an opportunity where he would get in free agency where you can make some money and I feel like he got what he deserves and um, things didn't work out and I hope the best for him I think he's going to be good in Tampa I'm just glad he's in the NFC that's for sure we're going to go to Travis with a question from fans hey what's up Kyle good to talk to you again man what's up Travis how we doing man I'm hanging in there yourself. That's what's up. I'm I'm hanging too. I'm good though. I'm good. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm not in cold weather. That's right. I'm up here in Washington, so cold up here. I'll get yeah. to the question from uh, Bruce Sawyer. How can your strengths help the Dolphins this season? I like that question. I feel like my versatile versatility, or yeah, uh, will be able to be a matchup problem for any coach because you never know where I'm going to line up and match up against. And then I feel like I can be a leader to this team. And, um, and I just want to win at the end of the day, there's nothing. I, uh, it's funny. I tell all my friends this, there's nothing better than w winning a one o'clock game and being at home at night, watching the Sunday night game, like, man, I'm feeling good right now. We won. And, you know, gearing up for another week. And so that's my whole mentality each week is to get, whether it's that Sunday night win or a one o'clock win, just that feeling when you get home that you put all you could into that week to have that feeling of, oh man, we won one o'clock. Let's get it again another week.